What up, YouTube? I'm going to give a shout out to Red Hook. This is NewSchool.com coming at you. I'm going to give a shout out to Red Hook. I'm going to give a shout out to the Bronx. Today's subject is Are You Stupid? Now, why I say this, Are You Stupid? is because why do people go to uh, an arena, listen to a comedian, and the comedian is cursing you out? He's talking about you. He's talking about your neighbor. No respect. He's cussing. Motherfucker this, motherfucker that. Dirty bitch, this fucking hoe said this, this, that. No type of form for us to have any structure. It's like the gathering those people who really don't care. You spend your last money to go out to see these people. You make these people rich. They stick you up, take your money, and walk away. Yeah, deaf jam, deaf jam. When you're deaf, that means you can't hear. Jam means jamming or coming together, you know? So when you listen to these people, even with the, the poetry, okay, fine. But what's the solution? You got, you got, you, we got mad problems, okay? We know we got problems. What is the solution? That is it. You, you know, you got to stop promoting things that does not, you know, we don't, we don't want the Red Fox, we don't want to, uh, what's it, Richard Pryor, you know. Does that help the situation that we're in? Mom Lawrence, okay, that's cool. You know, they started, but, you know, I, I sent him I don't think it was community, he was a host. He did a couple of things. They said he went too quick. They took him off the air. He got off the air. Whatever was the reason. The whole thing is we need to look at the politicians. We need to look at the preachers. These are the two main people that's robbing us. And now it's the politician, it's the comedians, it's the DJs, it's the DJs and the host on the radio shows. I don't even know the guy, I can't even think of his name right now. But he comes on in the morning, John, Tom John in the morning. He's begging companies to give you money so you can go to school. He's giving you money from them so you can go to school. While he's riding around rich, but he's telling you to go to school, to work for other people giving you endorsements and advertising other people. No, he got it twisted. Y'all got it twisted. Y'all got to find out what's going on. You know, now, all this money that he spent, all the money that they spend on writing, scripts, this and that, we right here, poor and righteous, poor and right, to give you the facts. Right next to the big dog, you can click on him, you can click on me. Don't make no difference. But what makes a difference is what you listen to. Stop being entertained. Comedian means come and mediate the situation. And most situations they do, they leave you without no remedy. You need to deal with your laws of the land. Federal, state, city, city ordinances. Laws of association with business, different types of business. Laws of real estate, real estate, city hall, city clerk. You should know all these, uh, all of these things. So everything is not a funny matter. I know you want to get out there and you want to laugh, but laugh means laugh and laugh means no or nothing. So you need to take your energy and your frustration and not go out and spend money and laugh and talk about each other. But go out there and do some better things. Let me want to give a shout out to Red Hook. This is how we roll. You know what I'm saying? I come with the truth. You know, other people come with music. Everybody's doing something different. You know, you got millions of people that came out of that project. You know, it was one of the largest projects in the world. It was like, you talk about the Holocaust, but the things that we had to go through, you know, which I will put in the book, and other people are documenting it. You know, it, you know, this is only one of them. In Webster Project, I was there, I lived there, you know, and we, we both, those two projects need support. 
you know, from these people who's taking the money. What are you doing with the money? Are you establishing hospitals? Are you establishing a school? Are you establishing something where people can learn how to have their own business? When we go have a job, they say, well, go get a job. No, go establish yourself a small business and take that small business, nurture it, and grow that business like a seed, a big business. Have a family business. Work around something, do something that you don't have to take your kids to the daycare. You can deal with your kids. It's just that people don't want to deal with their kids. Because when you grow up, you get a baby doll. When you have that doll and you finish playing with that doll, you put that doll down. And that's what people of habit, humans do. They want a child, when they finish with their child, they think it's a doll. And then they put it down. They don't want their child. They don't want it no more. So what I'm saying to you is learn what you need to learn. You make a commitment with someone to have a child, go through the ups and downs. You know, don't say, well, you know, this guy, I don't want to deal with him, but I'm, I'm going to get money from him, from child support. You know, you had gold diggers out there. You still got gold diggers today. You know, and women, you need to step up to your responsibility. This is your world. Don't let man continue to fool you and you hide behind them and you know it and you pushing them in front of you like your first line of defense. You got to be the warriors. You know, all that femininity and stuff like that and walking on pencils and stilts on those crazy shoes y'all got hurting your feet. That's retarded. That is retarded. You know, look at you. You're crunching your foot up in a little shoe. That is retarded. We already gave you what you need. You, you, you off balance. You know, you're walking off balance. You know what I'm saying? You're not thinking right. You're not aligned with, with yourself and you're not aligned with with the earth. It's bad enough you're not walking in dirt. You're walking on tar or cement or whatever kind of pavement they got out there in the cities. Think about what you're doing. Don't just go with the flow. Be wise like they say the, the salmon goes upstream for a reason. You got to go against the flow. Don't just flow, you know, go against the flow sometimes. And you comedians, if you get there, I know, you know, you're putting in one or two words or whatever you feel is pertinent at that time. But no, but you need to change your whole speech around. You need to be a motivational speaker, you know, because all you comedians, if you're not doing nothing positive, we're coming at you. And just like this one here, with no budget, poor and righteous, it's going to be more with a budget. And soon I will have a budget. I'll be doing what I got to do. But um, like I said, are you stupid? Are you stupid? Are you stupid? Brother man, brother man. Are you stupid? Sister, sister, are you stupid? Don't let these people continue to fool you and take your money and leave you with nothing but laughing. Leave you getting high, getting drunk to come and see them talk about nothing. Gathering of the people doing nothing. Think about it. I'm out. This ain't worth 10 minutes.